All right, we're going to look at a few other exponential equations. So we have our general exponential equation form that we've been using. It's y equals c times a to the x. Um, some other exponential equations um, that will come up are y equals e to the x. Okay, when we talk about e, it is the natural number e, um, and e is 2.71828. It is a number that goes on forever, so it's an irrational number like pi. Okay. And we use a symbol to represent pi, we use the pi symbol. So in order to represent 2.71828, we use the, the letter E. Okay, um, And we always use E if you have something that is growing continuously. So if you have money in an account um, and it is accumulating interest continuously, it means it's always growing, um, then you would use E. Okay. Um, a few other exponential formulas that you guys have come across in the past um, are if you have periodic growth. Um, annually, that's typically the one, the common periodic growth. So something grows every year, okay? You accumulate an interest rate every year. You'd use P, which is your starting amount, and then it'd be one plus or minus the rate, okay? So if we grow at 4%, it'd be 0 0.04 would be your R. And then T is the time. And you use the plus when you're growing, or you would take one minus that value if you are decaying. Um, and then you have your continuous growth formula or decay. Um, this is your PERT, okay? So P is once again, how much money you start with. E is the number E. And then it says plus or minus RT. So if you are growing, use a positive rate. If you are decaying, you would use a negative rate. Okay, so there's just a few more exponential um, equations. Let's go ahead and solve a little example using an exponential. So we have a bacteria culture and it starts out with 10 bacteria and it triples every two hours, okay? So this is of the general form, y equals c times a to the x, okay? It says how many bacteria will there be after t hours? So c is always our starting amount, okay? And we are starting out with 10 bacteria, okay? Then a is how the, the bacteria is growing and it triples every two hours. So the way it's growing is it triples. So it, when you think it triples, you think three. So A is three. Now the part you need to be careful of is it grows every two hours. Okay. Um, so if something is growing every two hours. If I am talking about 10 hours later, how many times has it tripled? Well, the way you'd figure that out is you would take 10 and if it triples every two hours, you divide it by two. So it has tripled five times. Okay. If I'm talking about 18 hours later, I have to figure out how many times it would triple, I'd take 18 divided by two. So it has tripled nine times. Okay. So for this case, since it triples every two hours, your X is going to be T, the number of hours, divided by two. Okay. So how many bacteria do we have after T hours? It would be Y equals 10, and then you'd have three, and then it'd be to the T over two. So how many bacteria after eight hours? So y equals, you plug in 8 for t, 10 times 3 to the 8 divided by 2. Um, so then it'd be 10 times 3 to the 4th. And I will tell you, there's a lot of people that do this, so you need to be careful. A lot of people are like, 10 times 3 is 30, and then 30 to the 4th. No, follow PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents. You have to do 3 to the 4th, and then multiply it by 10. So 3 to the 4th is 81. 81 times 10 is 810 bacteria. All right. And then the last one, it says, when will there be 1,000 bacteria? I'm going to do this on the next slide. Um, but before I do that, 1,000 bacteria, that's asking me what my output is. When will I out, what, sorry, excuse me. When will my output be 1,000? So we need to take this and plug it in for y. So we will have 1,000 equals my A was 10, sorry, my C was 10, my A was 3, and then we had T over 2. And I need to solve this for T. Okay. First things first, I need to get rid of this 10, and there being it's 10 times 3 to the T squared. So I would divide both sides by 10. Okay, the zeros would cancel, so I have 100 equals 3 to the T over 2. Now I need to get T out of the exponent. Okay, and the way that we do that is our pal log. We take the log on both sides. That gives us the ability to take an exponent and bring it down in front. So we have log of 100 equals t over 2 log of 10. Sorry, log of 3. Now from here, I need to solve for t. Okay, I need to get t by itself. So what I would do is multiply both sides by 2. 
those twos would cancel. So I have two log of 100 equals log of, sorry, t log of three. And then my last step to get t by itself would be divide both sides by log of three. So I type this all into my calculator to get what is the approximate time it takes for that to happen. So I would have two times log of, we had I think 100, divided by log of three. And that gives us eight point, I'm gonna round to three decimals, three, eight, three, six. So the six tells me to make it four. So 8.384 is the time, 8. 0.384, and then do you guys remember what the time was labeled? I think it was hours. Yes, hours. So it'll take 8.384 hours in order to get 1,000 bacteria. Okay, so that is it for example four.